Reggae Just Extra with Ras Dennis. This is Ras Dennis welcoming you to another episode of Reggae Just Extra. Yes, sir. On today's episode, we shall be looking at the life and times of Gregory Isaacs. If today is your first time of watching our YouTube channel, kindly click on the subscribe button, like and hit the notification bell to keep you updated on our latest video. In his teenage years, Isaacs became a veteran of the talent contests that regularly took place in Jamaica. In 1968, he made his recording debut as Winston Sinclair, with the single Another Heartache, recorded for producer Byron Lee. The single sold poorly and Isaacs went on to team up with Errol Dunkley to start the African Museum record label and shop, and soon had a hit with My Only Lover, credited as the first lover's rock record ever made. He recorded for other producers to finance further African Museum recordings, having a string of hits in the three years that followed, ranging from ballads to roots reggae, including All I Have Is Love, Lonely Soldier, Black A Kill Black, Extra Classic and his cover version of Dobby Dobson's Loving Pauper. In 1974, he began working with producer Alvin Ranglin, and that year he had his first Jamaican number one single with Love Is Overdue. Isaacs recorded for many of Jamaica's top producers during the 1970s, including Winston Nanny Holness, Gussie Clark, My Time, Lloyd Campbell, Slave Master, Glenn Brown, One One Coco, Harry Moody, Roy Cousins, Sidney Crooks and Lee Scratch Perry, Mr. Cop. By the late 1970s, Isaacs was one of the biggest reggae performers in the world, regularly touring the US and the UK, challenged only by Dennis Brown and Bob Marley. Between 1977 and 1978, Isaacs again teamed up with Alvin Ranglin, recording a string of hits including Border and Number One for Ranglin's GG's label. He opened the cash and carry shop at 118 Orange Street, later moving to number 125, next door to Prince Buster's record Shack, which was also the base for the cash and carry record label that he ran with Trevor Lego Douglas. International stardom seemed assured in 1978 when Isaac signed to the Virgin Records offshoot Frontline Records and appeared in the film Rockers, in which he performed Slave Master, The Cool Ruler, which became one of his nicknames, and soon forward albums, however, failed to sell as well as expected, although they are now considered among his best work. In 1981, he made his first appearance at the Reggae Sunsplash Festival, returning annually until 1991, and he moved on to the Charisma Records offshoot Pre, who released his The Lonely Lover and more Gregory albums along with a string of increasingly successful singles including Tune In, Permanent Lover, Wailing Rudy, and Tribute to Wadi. He signed to Island Records and released the record that broke through to a wider audience, Night Nurse, the title track from his first album for the label, Night Nurse, 1982. Although Night Nurse was not a chart hit in either the UK or US, it was popular in clubs and received heavy radio play, and the album reached number 32 in the UK. It was also used in adverts for an over-the-counter cold and flu remedy of the same name. This success for Isaacs coincided with drug problems with cocaine. He served a six-month prison sentence in Kingston in 1982 for possession of unlicensed firearms. Isaacs claimed that he had the weapons only for protection, but it emerged that this was his 27th arrest and that he had become involved in drug dealing and was addicted to crack cocaine. He celebrated his release from prison with his second album for Ireland, Out Dead. 1983, Yellow Man wrote the song Gregory Free, also celebrating Isaacs' release, and was later featured on the Young, Gifted, and Yellow album. He was featured in the 1982 documentary Land of Look Behind. When his contract with Island ended, Isaacs returned in 1984 with the Cool Ruler Come Again single and began a period of prolific recording, working with producers including Prince Jammy, Hugh Redman James, Bobby Digital, Tad Dawkins, and Steely and Cleavy, maintaining a consistent standard despite the volume of work produced. Isaacs then built a strong relationship with Gussie Clark of the Music Works label. They began with Isaacs' 1985 album Private Beach Party and had a hit with Rumors in 1988, which was followed by further popular singles including Mind You Dis, Rough Neck, Too Good To Be True, and Report To Me. 
the association with Clark continued into the early 1990s, teaming up with singers including Freddie McGregor, Ninja Man, and J.C. Lodge. He duet with Barris Hammond on the 1993 Philip Fadis Burrell produced One Good Turn, Burrell also producing Isaacs' 1994 album Midnight Confidential. In the 1990s, the African Museum label continued to release all of Isaacs' music and that of artists he produced. In 1997, Simply Red covered Night Nurse. Isaacs continued to record and perform live in the 2000s. In 2005, Lady Saw produced another version of Night Nurse with her toasting over the original lyrics. Isaacs's drug addiction had a major impact on his voice, with most of his teeth falling out as a result. Isaacs said of his addiction in 2007, drugs are a debasing weapon. It was the greatest college ever, but the most expensive school fee ever paid, the cocaine high school. I learned everything, and now I've put it on the side. He performed at the ICC Cricket World Cup 2007 inauguration at Jamaica, and in 2007 he collaborated with the Spanish rap group Folklorico slash Rafael Lechowski album Dondi Duele Inspira. In 2008, Isaacs released a new studio album Brand New Me, which was nominated for the Grammy Awards for 2010. The album received positive reviews from critics, Reggae Vibes wrote, Gregory is back, and how? Brand New Me is a very suitable album title for the Cool Ruler's new album. He is back in a different style, more or less like we were used to from this great lovers and roots artist this was followed in 2009 by the album My Kind of Lady. In 2010, Isaacs put out the last of his albums to be released while he was still living, Isaacs Meets Isaac, with Zimbabwean reggae singer King Isaac. In November 2010, Isaacs Meets Isaac was nominated for Best Reggae Album for the 2011 Grammy Awards, Isaacs' fourth Grammy nomination, and King Isaacs' first. In between times, the singer continued to impress audiences live, and his recorded output continued sporadically during the remainder of the decade. However, by 2007 he had reportedly lost his teeth due to crack cocaine addiction, and he was later diagnosed with lung cancer, which spread and ultimately took his life. Gregory Isaacs died at his home in London on October 25, 2010 at the age of 59. Thanks for watching and kindly leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and I'll see you again very soon for another video. However, until we meet again, please subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to keep you updated on our latest video. Much effort is made to ensure all materials and reggae gist extras videos fall within the guidelines of fair use. No copyright infringement is intended. If you are or represent the copyright owner of any materials accidentally used in this video and have an issue with its use, please contact me, Ras Dennis, and I will respond as soon as possible. Many thanks for watching Reggae Gist Extra with Ras Dennis.